Sure, so I head up educational mobile learning for K-12 and higher ed from a product and platform perspective. So we looked at the fact that when trying to move towards one-to-one -to -one learning, which really helps with um, adapted learning, personalized learning, really moving things forward, there's a lot of operational, logistical, technical roadblocks to getting things implemented. Obviously, you were known as having a pipe and devices, but how do we then put together a workspace on the device for teacher and student, add in safe connectivity, um, be able to have an ecosystem of providers, application providers, curriculum, content, whether they're more old school traditional providers or open source, and have that happen in a way which makes it easy for a district to go ahead and implement one-to-one -one learning. So it's a gradual move towards it, um, and we found that anybody can kind of make a pilot work. You can brute force your way through that. But when you're trying to roll out to like 10,000 students or so, I mean, that's like a Fortune 2000 company when you start looking at that. And that's just a modest sized district. Like Gwinnett County here locally has 160,000 students. So it's something we're excited about. I've been involved in helping transform education the past five years or so. A startup before coming to at t to help head this up. And we're really excited about where things are headed in the future. And my, you know, our goal is to make not technology to focus, more like the spiral notebook of the 21st century, have it in place so that way the focus can really be on in, in engagement and teaching and learning. And so we're very excited. What's the financial model or business model behind the um, uh, health, not healthcare, but the uh, learning model? Well, there, there's a way of, it's not necessarily making it cheaper. A lot of it has to be in transfer, but more effective use of the money is being spent. Um, if you're talking five to ten thousand dollars a year is being sent, and sometimes even more than that per student, a device might cost three to five hundred dollars. You spread that out over a few years. Um, textbooks and curriculum content—that's something that can be transferred into in a much more effective way. And so um, there's just providing some of the services we already provide, providing some lower cost connectivity options. Um, some stuff comes in through E-rate. Um, some things are you know, accessible to use, and some aren't. Um, but a lot of it really is, is, is um, providing a more effective way for the teaching and learning, and that kind of takes care of itself. It's a gradual process, but um, the money's there in a, in a way that benefits everyone all the way around.